sleeping in, you know, it's, they're trying to add a little bit more like, um, like RPG sense, I guess. Like, that's not like the best word, but that's kind of a good explanation to building like your tanks and your builds and stuff, which some people hate. Some people like, I kind of like, you know, kidding things out to my playstyle. Um, but that's where, you know, that's, that comes down to your personal opinions. Will, say if they put Crew 2.0 come in, like, everyone's gonna, or not everyone, a lot of people will like, I'm gonna quit, like, screw this, it ruined the game. Alright, all the power to you. Literally popping into a battle, you're still driving a tank, you're still, you're still shooting other tanks. 15 versus 15, the gameplay is, is not like they're, I don't know, like, adding crew members hanging on your tanks or you know if that makes any sense like they're changing and adding more depth to like you know the the back end of things and like the builds and stuff but ultimately you're still freaking blowing tanks up like but yeah in any event like you know nobody knows exactly what will happen but I, I still feel like it's kind of naive to think that none of it's going to come, so... Because a lot of it, honestly, is like it's kind of putting lipstick and a new face on things. Like, smushing four crew members or five crew members into one commander, like whoop de frickin' do in the garage, it doesn't, doesn't change anything, it's just a visual thing. So... I'm not trying to sell you or I'm just trying to give you my opinion. Like you hating it, that's your opinion on things. So I gotta just disagree with you, it's just <laughs> that M46 is probably like, it hey, make it overpowered. This 430U. Oh my god, this thing this thing's broken! <laughs> They're both dead. All right, now I'm gonna swap into siege mode. That was an easy 2,000 damage. I did siege mode for my first shot just to kind of give myself like a smaller profile. This is where I'm gonna get into trouble because I'm not in a great position now. And this ST1 popping up is gonna be a big problem because my teammates, um, they're so freaking far back, they're not gonna be able to help me. Yeah, like it's pretty high for a medium tank, the the 390 Alpha. Like I don't know why there's like half of my team behind me and they're afraid to push. Like we're winning on both both flanks here right now. Okay, I'm going to try to reduce my silhouette here, but I might get popped by multiple tanks. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, with the 15 degrees of gun pressure, you can get this pretty tiny. They can hit me. Like, that's the thing. I don't, I don't have armor. Like, they can penetrate me, but it's helping that there's no arty right now, so. Oh, crap, he backed up far. But this is like, compared to the Leopard Prototype, um, like this thing you can get into spots that other medium tanks can't, you know, with the, with the gun that this thing has. I might pop out of siege mode here. Crap. That guy's got a small gun, the Leopard. Yeah, like, the turret's really tiny. I still wish, though, that my frickin' medium tanks back here would, uh... ...grow a pair, for lack of better words. <laughs> Another tab opened, yep. Alright, so someone pushed here. They might come up here and really, really ruin my day. Oh. Yeah, so you get 15% extra credits for platooning, yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm in CC. I already have the the Coons Panzer. Uh, they gave it to us. Oh my god, those three tanks are probably like raging right now. Uh, probably like filthy wallet warrior. Not that the battle pass I think is out on the NA server yet, but don't buy this tank honestly with the levels though. Burn it, slowly grind it out. Alright, so the camouflage is good enough to where I think I can sneak around. The, ta the battle pass is already out on EU, Asian server I believe too, Russian server, NA, it's a tomorrow morning basically. Thanks, Devil, for the uh, the follow. Oh my god, I just missed. That was a really important shot, too. Yeah, so the daily gold's basically, it's just, yeah, crediting you back, essentially, the purchase price that you did. The amount of premium time and stuff, it, it is worth it getting it if you play most days. If you play all the days, even better for you, but... My team is just, they're like stuck. Yeah, I'm sure people are going to buy the gold levels. It's just crazy. <laughs> the flower cow, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could see some people getting triggered by that. Alright, I can get shot from there. That's not smart for me to go up that way. Alright, T95's coming around. Ah, I missed. I should have waned it. But I'm sure people are going to go out and just, you know, buy all the battle pass levels. It's it's stupid to do that. The tanks are good, but, you know, they're fun to play, but they're not, you know, they're, they're not, like, overpowered, which is really, <laughs> really appreciated. Um, it's just grind them out, get them, you know, slowly but surely. That's the best way to go about it. I just can't believe our frickin' south got pinned down that much. Oh, crap. Ah, zero damage. No, I know. It's just a myth that people think Wargaming can't uh, nerf or change premium tanks. They can. Alright, I'm going to try to shoot across here. Damage. Set on fire. Oh, that guy's mad. Damage. I think I bounced. Damage. Uh, don't push on the Progetto guys, just wait. <laughs> Somebody nerf Cody! He's using- he's using his brain! <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I killed that guy. I need to clip that. Someone I'm sure can clip that better than I can. That E-75 is probably like, he's probably shitting his pants right now. <laughs> oh crap, they, they moved back. Alright, 
Let's use um, this PZ might get me here. I think I carried this battle, guys. What do you think? <sighs> this still wouldn't... Not that this is Alliance 15, because I'm playing a German tank, but this wouldn't even be a freaking Alliance 15 battle right now. I'd still need 300 damage. Because <laughs> fricocheted off my T95. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! I just missed! How did I miss that shot? How did I miss that shot? <laughs> oh well. This is still a pretty freaking good battle though. 6200 damage. It's probably gonna be like, what, 7500 damage I think? And 7 kills? I wish I got the 8th kill though. But, oh well. Let's see how much damage I get here overall though. I was gonna say, this, this had to be a freaking ace tanker. Like a hundred freaking percent. This had to be an ace tanker. I was gonna be pissed if that was not an ace tanker. I does I deserve that battle. Like <laughs> my team was basically deadlocked until I started um blind sniping that VK from across the map. I wouldn't have been able to do that though unless I was in the uh the siege mode for that better accuracy. But we got an ace tanker. No, 6,200 damage. Never mind. It wasn't... I, I was mistaken. The VK was spotted, so I didn't get extra uh, damage there. So yeah, 1,500 base experience. Because I spotted, what, the first three kills? Uh, I spotted most of my damage. And... Yeah, that was, that was an awesome battle. Like, hands down. Anyway, I'm probably not going to top that battle in this tank ever again. So. I know, no, I, I didn't get the high caliber because I shot my teammate. So. But yeah, all in all, that, that was a great battle there. I'm just going to save these in case I ever use this replay, but I never have time to freaking do extra videos anymore, which is depressing. But yeah, that was that was a crazy good fight. All right, um, I guess we'll do one more battle, uh, the K91, and then we'll find someone to raid here. You know, when I come back on Wednesday, I'll be doing a mix of probably standard battles, maybe a little bit of you know, Steel Hunt. Excuse me, Steel Hunter, but yeah. Two hours playing each day? What do you mean? The battle pass is open for a while. I don't think you're going to have too much trouble uh, leveling up in it. But yeah, this will be my last fight of tonight, though. Why don't we... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to head over here. What the hell? Yeah, it's the first of three. Like, this one lasts until June something. And um, then there's number two, and then there's number three. So... Basically, if you buy the improved improved pass, you can get both new tanks, technically, plus an old one or two old ones. Um, if you don't buy the improved pass, you can get a new tank and an old tank, I think is how it breaks down. I screwed up. I got distracted because I was typing. I could have set up there to get that shot. I 
Um, campaigns, so that's clan war campaigns. Um, basically, you need to dedicate your life to clan wars while a campaign is active. Every single night, essentially, to be able to get a tank. It's, it's not worth it. Even if the tanks are good, uh, like the small amount of them that are unique to uh, clan wars. It's, a, it's just not worth it. Thanks, Squeegee Mama, for the resub. Nice to see you tonight. This is my last battle tonight, um, unfortunately. It's well worth watching the replay for the last battle, though. It was a freaking awesome ace tanker in the, the Kunz Panzer. I feel like that guy is sticking out. I know, I, I I literally would like get divorced if I did a clan war campaign. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. G.I. Joe thing, I have no clue. I'm not taking part of any of that stuff because basically if you stream any of the skins while playing them, you have to either say it's a copyright of Hasbro, all rights reserved or whatever. Uh, or you have to put it like across the screen in text. <laughs> it's like stupid. Yeah, but daylight savings. I think daylight savings is, is literally the stupidest thing as well. Is using my HP here. This is probably going to be a mistake because I only have a bison tape behind me. But we'll see. Oh my god, I just shot the ground. It's the worst thing with this freaking tank. You, you shoot low. Like, I don't know if it's just a bug with the gun. But, um, you shoot low with this thing. At least I got a nice little fire there. But yeah, I'm, I'm screwed because of that freaking shot I missed. I don't know what that was, Legacy, but sorry. Are you trying to post links? I'm, I don't like don't recognize your name, but there's no links, so please stop that or else you're probably going to get banned. Eh. Well, that's good. I personally, yeah, they should just get rid of it. I think the time change is stupid. Like, not even just, like, the U.S., like, in general, every... There shouldn't be any daylight savings anywhere. Like, it kind of threw off my whole day with, uh, Henry, because he was an hour off. He was, uh, honestly, like, annoying. Guess I could fix my engine. Alright, low shell velocity here... Uh, the saves money is actually a, I don't, that's a myth, you know, I guess in the modern era. I think it's proven that it doesn't save anything. But I'm not an expert, I guess no, I just think it's stupid. <laughs> 
I hate in the middle of the summer where I live. Um, literally, it gets dark here in the middle of the summer at like 9, like 30 or something at night. Like, uh, no, that's, yeah. It's terrible, but no politics though, guys. Even if it's like civil, like we just don't do politics at all, so. Anyway, we had a pretty good game in the, uh, the KBZ, or the K91, excuse me. We had a pretty good game with this. But yeah, I think both, honestly, both of these tanks are pretty good. I think they're balanced, they're unique, they're fun. Um, you know, I think they did a pretty good job with both of these Battle Pass tanks. Um, I'm sure people will hate on some specific things or, you know, complain about whatever, but... Got an ace tanker in this as well. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I didn't think this was going to be an ace. I did spot my, my damage though. That's kind of the... <laughs> that's kind of the... Um, I guess the, the kicker. But anyway though. Um, we, we just aced back to back. Uh, both of these tanks. This one... Uh, so 4100. I'm going to 4200. This one I would say is... Partly because only CCs have it. Um, so 1,200 base is a little low for an ace tanker. Because um, ace tankers at tier 9, typically like this would be closer. Um, like 1,300-ish. Like 1,250 is usually like tier 9 where you can start expecting them. Like 1,250, 1,300. The Koonspans are like getting 1,500 base experience. That wasn't like a cheap one. Thanks, uh, Villa, for the follow. Yeah, like, that's... So, like, one of the things...